Hi everybody, how you doing? I know those last few days might have been challenging as we progress through these um, last days of March. Some of these exercises are going to perhaps push you past places that you are currently comfortable in or strong enough in. So as we go through these, just recognize that you can always go back to earlier days and you'll have these videos here to go, come back to and work up towards if they're not feeling available yet. It's all good. Pilates is a journey, it's a language, it's a lot to try to master and I've been teaching for 20 years and I haven't mastered it. So give yourself lots of grace and just enjoy the process. Today we're working with a couple of fantastic moves for strengthening the whole body, upper back and upper body as well. So a lot of my female students often feel like they are weak in their upper body, you know, they have difficulty in a plank and push-ups, and it's very common, but it's really not um, necessary, meaning we can get stronger and we should get stronger in the upper body as well as the core and the hips. So the first move is called leg pull front, and we're going to just review the prep. We did this a little while ago. The prep has our four point position. So hands nice and stable, fingers are wide, and shoulders are just behind the wrists a tiny bit. So if you have wrist issues, be careful you're not too far over your hands. The knees are hip width apart, and I'm going to curl my toes, so I'm on my toe bases. Now the prep for this leg pull is just to lift your knees a few inches from the earth. So we want to stabilize the shoulders, kind of hug the shoulder blades down your back like we've been learning, feel your core strong, and then from there, hover your knees off the ground. Take a breath. Stay here as you exhale. Take a breath. And we'll lower down. Good. Now, if you have something like a Pilates ball, or a yoga block, you can do that same movement with a prop between the legs. It can be quite helpful to have something to squeeze into, even just a rolled up um, towel or a pillow. Stabilize the shoulders, feel the connection of the low abdomen, take a breath, and we start again. A little squeeze onto that block if you're using one, and lift your hips. Think about the low abdomen staying up and in, so I'm not sagging through my rib cage or sagging through the belly. And then knees come down. We'll do one more prep. Take a breath, stabilize the shoulders, exhale, collect the core, lift from your core. I'm keeping my hips back so I didn't shift forward as I elevated, just went straight up a few inches. And then we'll lower down. Okay, release. If you've got a prop, release that. If you're on your toes, which we were, just release your feet for a moment and take a few little glides forward and back, just forward and back. One more. Good. Now extend one leg nice and long. Keep the toes on the ground and you're gonna extend forward and back, forward and back through the ankle. This is the movement of the foot that you're gonna be doing when we in a moment, take it off the floor. Good. And then lower that leg, extend the other on the toes. And again, just rock forward and back, giving a nice little stretch through the ankle, press the heel back, roll forward, press the heel back, roll forward. Good. Okay, so what does this full exercise involve? Well, it's kind of like a push up. So the hands are forward. Instead of staying on the knees, we're gonna curl the toes and we're gonna lift the knees. So as you come up into basically like a push-up or a plank pose, we stay there. Now we lift one leg, point the toes. We press back through the back heel, come forward again and lower the lifted foot. We inhale, lift the other leg, point the toes. Press back, come forward, and lower down. So we lift, press, forward, down. Lift, press, 
forward, down. Lift, press, forward, down. Lift the heel, point the toes, forward, down. Again, and toes to the ground. Lower your knees, widen your knees, let your hips sink back, press back, stretch your arms, forehead can rest and breathe. Take a few nice deep breaths here. Good, and then come all the way back up. And this time you're gonna lower yourself all the way down to the mat. So we'll go through a little half push up, lowering ourselves slowly down to the floor with control. And once here, we'll separate the feet, hip width apart or slightly wider, and the arms overhead. So this is sometimes called Superman. In Pilates, we call it swimming. And we've done a few preps already from the knees. So from the belly now, the first movement, let's just practice opposite arm and leg extension. And then lowering down, alternating to our new side. So glutes to lift the leg and hip, shoulder and back to lift the arm. So a couple things, if the shoulder feels tight, turn your arm bone so the thumb is up. So there's a little, external rotation in the shoulder feels more comfortable and the shoulder and arm are slightly diagonal so slightly outward in their direction through the glutes we need to really squeeze the glutes the hamstring the core pulls in so that's sort of prep number two the first one was from your knees doing the same thing now the full swimming is we're gonna lift everything up from the floor. So we're in a long, strong line. And then we alternate up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Take four sniffs. Four blows. Two more sets. In, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four. Reach everything and release down. Woo. Remember our shell stretch from a few days ago. Let's find that again. Round the back. Breathe into the back of the waist and hips. Breathe into the back of the lungs. Good job and have a seat. Awesome. Well done. So those swimming exercises, the prep remember is from hands and knees. Beautiful, just opposite arm and leg, keeping the other two points down. When we did it there, that last exercise, everything's off the floor. So obviously lots more core needs to be kicking in so we don't sink into the low back. So glutes to power and core to support and then find that alternating pattern between arm and leg. It's just so good for the body. You don't need to do heaps of them. Those were enough. You did it. Congratulations. I will look forward to seeing you tomorrow as we carry on this journey. A little bit more rotation tomorrow. I'm looking forward to it.